Here at the SIG Academy, they teach everyone from beginner to expert, including military and law enforcement. Hi, I'm Dave Miles with the National Shooting Sports Foundation, and with me is Adam Painshow, director at SIG Academy. And Adam, obviously, for a new shooter, there's fundamentals that everybody must use so that they can get accurate shots downrange. And Adam, why don't we talk about those fundamentals? Sure. Well, uh, let me clarify some things. The, uh, f as far as fundamentals, as far as we're concerned, whether you're at a real high advanced level or you're a beginner, they're the same. Really, it's uh, completely objective and performance based. Um, so for the beginner shooter who's simply trying to hit a paper target at seven yards away, all right, the way they approach fundamentals and uh, completing that task is going to be different probably than maybe a SWAT guy moving, going through a house and dealing with multiple threats and things like that. So we kind of break things down in real simple form. And it's uh, trigger finger discipline and muzzle management. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, so when we're teaching fundamentals, uh, trigger finger discipline and muzzle management, how we kind of break that down is stabilize your muzzle on the target and you use your sights as a reference point for that, obviously. And then exercise good trigger finger discipline, meaning move the trigger without disturbing that muzzle. That is it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. And I think if we get any more involved in it, it kind of overcomplicates things. Um, at our very basic courses, folks who've never handled guns in their life, specifically handguns, um, we take that approach and we have instant success with it on the range. So when they get out to the range, they're not thinking about the eight steps of whatever. Mm -hmm. It's real simple. Hey, stabilize muzzle on the target, use the sights as a reference, exercise good trigger finger discipline, meaning move the trigger without disturbing that sight picture, and you're good to go. Pretty simple. Good. What I want to do real quick though is kind of reemphasize something I talked about. And you know, we kind of said we, we don't really care how you hold the gun, don't really care how you stand because it's all objective based and performance based on whatever the task is. I want to just uh, emphasize that with, with a quick little demo, so to speak. Um, now, I'm going to load up my gun okay. down range real quick here. So, um, you know, that's a traditional grip, right? All right. I think we could probably all agree that uh, that's probably not a very good grip. So mm -hmm. in traditional circles, nobody would look at this and say, hey, that's a pretty good grip. Obviously not, right? Yep. So I don't know of anybody who teaches that, and we certainly don't teach that, so don't get me wrong. I'm just demonstrating that this is not a good grip, mm -hmm. all right, in traditional circles. But I'm going to demonstrate that you can get performance like this. And this probably is not a good stance, mm -hmm. all right? So one foot behind my back uh, and holding the gun like this, this is probably not ideal. So hitting that one inch square right there with my gun upside down standing on one foot, what I just prove? Well, I just, what I did is I just proved that the points I was making earlier doesn't matter. I just hit the center of a one inch square without even thinking about it too much on one foot holding the gun upside down with my pinky. So what did that prove? Who cares how you hold yep. the gun? Okay. Who cares how you stand? And let's throw all this, well, you gotta have this grip and you gotta have this stance and you gotta do this. No, I reemphasize what I talked about earlier. Trigger finger discipline, muzzle management. Mm -hmm. What I just did is I was able to stabilize my muzzle on the target, yep. use my sights as a reference point, and move my trigger without disturbing those sights, yep. and put the bullet literally exactly where I want where it to go. To. Now, don't but, get me wrong, we certainly don't teach that. I think what you're saying is that you have to figure out what works for you. You certainly and when do. when you figure out what works for you, yeah. stick with it and make it better. Absolutely. The, the, this really, what I just, the, the point I'm trying to make and really demonstrate and get across here is as long as you can move the trigger, without disturbing your sights, your muzzle, mm -hmm. you're gonna be successful. Whether you do that moving, shooting a competition, behind a barricade, multiple yep. targets, 50 yard targets, three yard targets, who really cares? If you can stabilize your muzzle on the target and move the trigger without moving the muzzle, you're gonna be successful. Sure. So we don't get real hung up on all this, all this you know, Weaver, other stuff. Or yeah, you're not gonna hear that out of my mouth or any of our guys. What we don't care. for you is what matters. Exactly, it, it's 100% objective based. Now my objective when I just did that was to hit the center of that one inch square. Yep. All right. If I want to do that while I'm moving and weaving in between some cones, I probably wouldn't stand on one foot and I probably wouldn't hold the gun upside down and shoot with my pinky. Sure. So it's 100% performance or objective based. Yep. Yeah. So I'm not going to have you do that, but just trying to okay. make a point. Well, I'm relieved. Good. Actually, I'm kind of <laughs> feeling a little awkward now because yep. I'm hoping I'll hit that one inch square with 
all of my focus. I think if you do everything right and just revert back to what you need to do to be successful, you have a ni nice sight on there, a nice, nice uh, uh, red fiber optic dot. Yep. Put that dot literally, don't even really worry about the rear sight. Put the red dot where you want the bolt to go. So in this case, let's put the red dot in the center. Well, let's use one of those black circles up there. Okay. We'll use the lower left, le lower left black circle. I'll have you put your red dot right there and stabilize that red dot where you want it to go, place your finger on the trigger, and now it's a mental game. Mm -hmm. Now I have to think to myself, all right, Dave, I need to move this trigger without disturbing that red dot too much. Is it gonna move around a little bit? Yeah, accept that. Yep. Accept the fact that it's gonna move and continue steady movement on that trigger blade until the shot breaks. Really okay. that simple. Okay. You got your ears and eyes on, all right? Yep. So why don't you go ahead face down range and go ahead and load up your pistol and holster it. Good. Go ahead, aiming at that dot and relax. All right, finger on the trigger. Work that thing back nice and smooth and break it. Good, excellent. And work back to the holster. Nothing magical. All right, yep. so, so you hit a uh, one inch black dot at three yards away. Mm -hmm. Bam, mission success right there. Yes. Yeah, not a whole lot to it. Nope. Stabilize dot on target, move trigger, and successful. If, we, uh, if I said, all right, I want you to do the same thing on the move, would you do anything different? No. No, you'd still stabilize the dot on the target and try to move the trigger without disturbing it. Gonna mm -hmm. make it more difficult. If I said do it on one foot, tapping your head, yep. obviously make it a little bit more difficult. Yep. So let's try that a couple more times just from the holster. What I want you to do is just keep your eyes on where you want the bullet to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I say go, what I want you to do is just get your gun out and relax your body. Don't yep. get too aggressive on the okay. gun. Just relax your body, get your gun out, put the dot where you want to go, finger on the trigger whenever you feel fit, and ease that thing back, break a shot, settle okay. it back down, go back to holster. Sounds great. Sound good? Yeah. All right, here we go, ready? Go. Nice, all right, so I didn't go where we wanted to go, right? Yep. All right, so we're three yards away and we missed the target. Well, we missed that center circle by about yep. an inch. It was an yep. inch low. So what's that tell us? So, I'm thinking probably that your dot was in the right place, right? Mm -hmm. But then we forgot about that, that trigger, real big right. step. Yep. And uh, trigger finger discipline. Uh, do you remember pressing the trigger? If I asked you, as a police officer, if I asked you to write a statement or a report about how that trigger felt as you broke that shot, could you really break that down for me? Probably you, not. Probably not, why? Because yeah. you weren't thinking about it. Mm -hmm. All right, and that happens a lot. Yep. Uh, not that we have to think about everything, but mm -hmm. in a marksmanship environment, really trying to get that you know fine-tuned accuracy right here we got to put a little thought into it okay all right so the fact that you can't tell me what it felt like and intimately describe it while well, I put my finger on the trigger blade at him and as I started to press I felt a little grit must be a little sand in that trigger need to clean that out mm -hmm. as I started to move it back I hit the wall the slack was out as I kept on pressing I could feel that that thing was about to break that strike was about to go forward and as I did I felt it break boy I felt the little recoil in my hand snapped up went back down and hey I saw my shot exactly where I wanted to go mm -hmm. if you can't tell me that you weren't doing it okay so now let's try to do it Sounds good. all right so when I say go relax, mm -hmm. get the gun on the holster, put your dot where you want to go, connect the brain to the trigger finger, apply steady movement until the shot breaks. Okay. Don't make it go off, let the gun go off. Okay. Sound good? Yep. Here we go, go. Hey, awesome. Working back to holster. Yep. Excellent, right where we want it to be. Let's try that again. Okay. So what happens as we continue? You know, I can say go five, six more times, and yeah, sometimes it starts to go downhill real quick. So yep. it's just a matter in this marksmanship game right now, mm -hmm. just a matter of keeping that discipline of being able to think and apply movement to that trigger sure. without disturbing that red dot too much. Yep. It's gonna be moving around, accept it, don't fight it, okay. just work it. Ready to do it again? Sure. Same thing, go. Work it back. Hey, not bad. Sure. So this shooting stuff is not a mystery. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult. What's difficult about my job and our other instructor out here is, uh, is, is when we start to multitask, like teaching tactics, shooting and making decisions, like mm -hmm. shoots, no shoots, uh, working around a corner, yep. awkward positions, you know, reloading on the move, you know, doing all that stuff, task saturating and multitasking while you're shooting, that's where it gets difficult. You yep. know, training folks to be tacticians or training folks to be competitive shooters when you get all this, all this stuff you got to do yep. simultaneously. That stuff is challenging. Mm -hmm. Shooting is easy. Yep. It's really easy in theory, obviously. Yep. The theory is real easy. You do it enough and so I, that it becomes Yeah, and I don't even buy that you have to do enough, really. Now, okay. our, our basic students, instantly out of the holster, we're getting 
instant accuracy sure. uh, because we're breaking stuff down so simple and making sure they're comfortable and applying it real simple dot I'm not I didn't mention anything about even space or even no, the top no, yep. I said put your dot where you want to go I think as human beings we can all do that and I said move your trigger without moving that dot now somebody who's never shot a gun obviously you've shot a lot mm -hmm. all right but somebody who's never shot a gun before they're thinking about okay I need to put the dot where it needs to go and yep. I need to move that trigger without moving that dot that's a pretty simple task mm -hmm. most human beings could do that task without thinking about it too much. Mm -hmm. And the more we shoot, sometimes the more we have to put a little bit more thought into that. Now that you know what you need to do to get your shots on target accurately, head out to the range and do some shooting. And if you're looking for a place to shoot near your house, visit our website it's called wheretoshoot.org. And when you're on the range, remember, firearm safety depends on you. <laughs>